Today, I'm gonna to share the best follow-up tips in network marketing. First, I'm gonna share why you should never ever check up on them. Number two, how to follow up without feeling like you're bugging them. And number three, I'm gonna share with you best practices on what to actually say in follow up. Now, I don't know about you, but a lot of times when I was planning my follow up, I would feel the rejection in my head before I did the follow up. I would feel like I'm gonna be an annoying, I'm gonna be a nuisance, I'm gonna be bugging them, and you know they're gonna laugh at me, and and you know all of that stuff. And and so like knowing that this video is really gonna help you, and it really will, because I understand the difference between uh, someone who does follow up someone who does not, and the difference in results is staggering, okay? If you are not following up, you are working way too hard, actually, because you're thinking that people will sign up faster than they normally do, which is just not the case. But in your follow-up, stop just checking on them. Hey, just checking on you. Checking on you, see if anything's changed. That is a, an extremely, although it's better than nothing, right? I mean, if you're not gonna send anything, then bad follow-up is better than no follow-up. So if you're not gonna send anything, then fine, check on them. But why not make it a little bit more effective? And we'll talk about actual language, but you miss an opportunity. When you follow up with someone and say, hey, just checking on you, you're missing an opportunity. You're missing an opportunity to talk about something exciting about your business. You're missing an opportunity to go for a referral. You're missing an opportunity to make that a much more impactful message. And so, and, and this ho also holds true of your reps. Checking on your reps is a, a little bit more dangerous, actually. You know, a lot of leaders, here's what I mean. A lot of leaders, they'll go to their the people in their team and say, hey, just checking on you. See if you need anything. See if I can help you in any way. How, how's it going? The way that that's translated by the rep is when are you gonna make me some money? When are you gonna do something? And that can feel like a form of pressure, kind of like the, you know, the, the mom pressuring the daughter of when are you gonna get married already, right? It's a form of pressure that most people don't like. It, not only is it not effective, they don't like it. And one thing you need to realize real quick is that network marketing is the most volunteer relationship that anyone is ever a part of. Not easy to walk away from boyfriend, girlfriend, not easy to get divorced, not easy to, get rid of those kids real easy to cancel their auto ship with your company. And you need to understand that. And so don't just check on your prospects and also don't just check on your reps either. And yes, you should stop seeing follow-up as bugging them. I, I don't, you, you shouldn't look at that. And I'm gonna teach you, I'm gonna teach you in the next section, uh, I'm gonna teach you how to follow up, what to say, et cetera. This is a very big thing. As long as you draw a negative conclusion to your follow-up, you're gonna keep struggling to do it. You know, if, if you legitimately thought you were bugging people, then who the heck wants to do that? You have to eradicate that from your mind. So I'll give you an example. So I, I had a guy that uh, we had done some th things in the past and, and, and I reached out to him and he told me no. And I reached out to him again and I used you know, a couple different methods that I'll talk about in the, in the last section, but I reached out to this guy seven times. He told me no six times. On the seventh time, he said yes. He joined that company. He became a six-figure earner, making over $100,000 a year. He left his job. And for the last eight, nine years, he has been a stay-at-home business, you know, business builder. He's been working from home, being, spending every minute with his sons, watching them grow up, going to their football games, going to, you know, taking them to school. He has completely changed his life because I followed up. You're gonna have stories like that too, if you start following up. And so there are so many people out there that maybe they didn't catch the vision the first time you talked to them about it. That is extremely common, or maybe they had something going on, right? They had something stressing them out and they just couldn't focus on it. You following up is actually you caring about them. And I know that it's really easy to say, uh, you know, well, it's, you know, I, I don't need the money or, or whatever. Well, okay, fine, you don't need the money wink, wink, right? You don't need the money, got it. But what about the impact? I love the impact that I made with him. I love the impact that he's now making on his kids, that he's making with customers I'll never meet. He's now coaching people that I'll, I'll never meet. He is making a big, big difference because 
I had the care to follow up with him. And so you have to care more about the people that you're reaching out to and actually helping them to impact. Now, don't be addicted. He could have to told me no 25 times. I wouldn't have been mad at him. How dare you? I'm trying to help, help your life, right? I wouldn't have been mad at him. That'd be very strange. But I'm going to care enough to follow up, to risk looking stupid. Oh my goodness. Oh no, right? I'm going to care enough to keep following up because I know how awesome network marketing is. I know that it helped save my life. I know that it freed me. And although I'm not active in a, in a company any longer, it led me to this path. Clearly, the majority of our, our clients and students are network marketers. I mean, my life is still very much an ambassador for the network marketing profession. And so you got to care more to do more follow-up. Before we get to my last point, uh, if you are serious about growing a network marketing business, hit that subscribe button. We upload 20 new in-depth, detailed, free YouTube videos every single month to this channel. We cover every single topic you can imagine, but make sure you subscribe so that you're notified first. So what should you be saying in this follow-up? I said, don't, don't do the checking on you, right? Don't, don't do that. So my, my go-to plays are really just two plays, updates and deflections. Now I have a full video of this inside of our community and our software called Rank Makers University. And that, that, that training is called My Crazy Follow-Up, where I, I detail out every type of, of possible follow-up. But today I wanna to share with you two of my, of my favorite ones. And so update, deflection. So what's an update? An update, right? It's something new, whether you got a new flavor, whether you launched in a new country, whether you just earned something, whether maybe you're reaching out, maybe you're following up with a realtor and you just heard of another realtor story in your company. And so an update could be, hey, I was just at this convention and you know what, this realtor crossed the stage and she's crushing it. Would you, would you like to learn more about what we're doing? Because apparently realtors are crushing it. See, that would be, that's an update. Now you could take that same scenario and make it a deflection. Here's how you could do that. So a deflection is you're not going after them. You're asking them if they know anyone. Now, I call it deflection versus referral because it's actually more likely to get their interest than for you to actually get referrals, but sometimes you will get referrals. So a deflection in that same scenario would look like this. Now notice the deflection. Hey, uh, when we last talked, I know that you said that what I'm doing isn't a fit for you and that's totally cool, but you know, last night I was at this convention and this realtor is just crushing it. And so I thought of you, cause I know, you know you're a realtor and you know, I know it's not a fit for you. Do you know any other realtors that might wanna make some extra money? So notice first I deflected the business. I know it's not a fit for you, which is a very powerful way to communicate. Most people won't do that because they're so scared of blowing it, right? Well, your fear of, of blowing it is making it too stressful and that's why you blow it, right? And so, hey, I know it's not a fit for you. So that's deflection number one. Deflection number two is, do you know anyone? I know it's not a fit for you, but do you know anyone? Right? So there's two deflections in that one follow-up. So updates and deflections, updates and deflections. That's how I would follow up with people like for years. I remember I was teaching this at an event in uh, Fort Myers, Florida. Uh, I live in Naples, but I, I lived in Fort Myers for many years. And uh, I was doing this event in Fort Myers, Florida, and I was teaching follow-up. And one of the guys that I've known for you know quite a while, he raised his hand. He said, hey, can I share something? I'm like, you know, sure. He showed his phone where I had followed up with him through text from 2009 to about 2015 for six years. And I didn't even remember doing it because I did this with so many people. I wasn't addicted to them responding or them saying yes. I was addicted to my activity, not their response. And so he, he shared that. It was, it was pretty funny. Uh, and, he, and here he was in, in network marketing now. And, and so be more addicted to your activity than their response. It's okay if they don't respond. It's not okay if you don't follow up. So would you like more help with not just follow up, but also overcoming objections, how to reach out, etc.? You may want to check out our social media script book. Now this contains a ton of different information. You notice this is from it's branded, you know, rank makers from our rank makers community. Uh, but this will help you with what to say in almost every situation. Now, if you're in, I'll put the link down in the description. Just click that. If you want to learn more, you'll see some testimonials over there. And also if you're outside the country and you're looking for something digital, drop me a comment and we'll make sure that we put that link in as well.